Right, I'm putting a banana in for you. When's Daddy coming on? Oh, soon, sweetheart. Really soon. Mm, soon. Oh, darling, we all do, but it won't be long now, OK? Yeah. Tell you what, why don't you write to him? Or, better still, do one of your brilliant drawings. I'm going to draw a spider. Oh, a spider? I do really good spiders. I'll draw one for Max, too. Oh, go on, right. then. Off it, go on. Spiders <laughs> have eight legs. They do have oh. eight legs. Um, I um, spoke to Adam last night and he's arranged a meeting with Marion just in informal chat so hopefully the three of us can make a sense. sense. We can't afford a custody battle. I don't care how much it costs. She's not going to take my son from me. OK, OK. No matter what happens, we can't get angry. We can't lose our temper. No matter what she says, we stay calm. I know. OK. Stay calm. <laughs> I will stay calm. See, look at me. I am totally calm. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a really cool spider. Hey, your dad will love that. I'm Max. Shona, I've got a visitor. <gasps> Max! Max! <laughs> i tell you what, why don't I, um, I take Lily to school and drop off Harry? You guys can have a chat. <sighs> Stay calm. You said him. If you got him on your own, you'd kill him, right? Now's your chance. You didn't have to ring the bell, you know. This is your home. Did you get my messages? I am so sorry for accusing you of hurting Harry. I was totally wrong, and I was totally out of order. Is Harry OK? He's fine. David's really worried about you, you know. And we don't want a fight. And we know that Marion isn't a nasty person. But we'd really love it if you came home. She's seeing lawyers about the whole family. That's why she's asking questions about us. Will they stop me seeing everyone here? Oh, Max, I hope not. Um, we're seeing her, actually, today. Just to talk. And you know that David's going to be home really soon, don't you? How soon? Fourth of November. Just in time for bonfire night. <laughs> and we've booked the wedding for the 7th, so we're going to have a big party at the bistro. I miss David. No one is going to stop you seeing anybody. Can I come round after school? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> hey, and there's no need to ring the bell either. <coughs> Listen to that! <laughs> I can feel it coming. Even the screws can feel it. I've got the word kick off at 1.15, right? Never realised you actually set a time for a riot. I just thought it was like a spontaneous type of thing. That's the middle of lunch. Most of us are out of ourselves. Perfect timing. What about Jock? I'm going to get you down to the medical wing. Once the staff are out the way, we're going to have the place to ourselves. Well, bet you never thought you'd uh, get a chance like this. Yeah, too, man. Listen, we're going to take out the CCTV, and then that perv will get what he deserves. It's payback time. Really? That's, that's brilliant news. Yeah. We all just need to be together. Yeah, and we will. I promise. Well, we'll see Marion later, so fingers crossed. Yeah. You okay? Uh, me? Yeah. Fine. You know, just keep my head down, count the days. Okay. I know I've made mistakes with Max. But things are turning round. And once we're all together and we're married, everything's going to be OK.
God's sake, can I feel stabbing that rapist? Proper justice. Sarah says David's got his release date. Yeah, November the 4th. <laughs> yes, once David's home, we can just be a stable family unit. Yes, let's try and deal with Marion gently. No more rives, okay? Hello, everyone. This is my solicitor, Stephen Ranger. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, you too. Thanks for coming. Take a seat. Any more drinks? I'd rather just get down to business, if that's okay. I thought it best to keep the meeting informal. Well, it gives us a chance to talk. Well, we can talk. Some of us don't want to listen. And what's that supposed to mean? I understand neither of you like to be criticised. But the plain truth is, Max and Harry are both living in a chaotic, dysfunctional household and they would be better off coming to live with no, me. No, hang on a minute. They would be safe with me. Safe, secure and loved. So they get all that with us. Really? Let's look at some facts. After my Callum died, Sarah had a mental breakdown. She's had a series of failed relationships, and this latest incident with Harry just proves he's not in a safe environment. I love my son, and I will always put him first. And as for Max, his stepfather is in jail. Max came to me because Shona totally lost control, and she is, let's not forget, the mother of the thug who killed Max's real mum. Not exactly a certificate in good parenting. Can we keep this civilised? As to the facts of the case, whether you like it or not. Look, nobody is pretending to be perfect. <laughs> I am not asking for perfection. Simply competence. I knew this would be a waste of time. I will still be going through the courts to get custody of Max and Harry. Oh, no, please, Marion. Do you know what? I wouldn't be so sure of yourself if I were you. Sarah. We had a visitor today. Yeah, Max came round, so maybe he's not so keen on living with Grandma as you think. Max is free to see whoever he wants. I would never tell him who he can and can't see. I know what it feels like to be cut out of the lives of people that I love, which is why I'm prepared to fight for custody of my boys. to thank me. No CCTV, no guards. I never did anything. It's all lies. I never touched anyone. It's all yours now. Chance there's a riot, all bets are off, people turn up dead. No, 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 wait. You, we talked about this, remember? You said we were done closing. Right, shut up, shut up! Right, get out. This is between me and him. Yeah? You got this? Yeah, I got it. That's what you get. All right, come on, get out.
please. Hey. Oh, oh, I didn't hear you come in. I didn't ring the doorbell. <laughs> oh, good. Hang on. Shouldn't you be at school? Free period. Try again. Sorry. Mm. You OK? Mm, yeah. No, actually, I'm not. Um, <clears throat> your grand's still going for custody. So, it's up to you now, Max. Cos I'll be honest, there's only so much I can do. What is it that you want? I want to be a family again. Here, with you and David. I'm sorry. So why are you in here? You did it again, didn't you? No. Is it the same as before? GHB? No. You've done it to someone else, haven't you? No, it wasn't like that this time. This time? What? Is that finally an admission? They've hit me all because of my record, because of what you said. What I said? I, I told the police exactly what you did. That's what I said. It wasn't me. They got the wrong bloke. Yeah, of course they did. It's never you, is it? It's always somebody else. Suppose this bloke consented to it and all, did it? Or, or maybe, maybe things just went a bit too far, is that it? Didn't do it. What, with this bloke or with me? Come on. Last time you all but admitted it. You tricked me. I'd have said anything. <laughs> Say it! <laughs> Say it! I want the truth. Say it. You're gonna have to kill me. You can't. Because however much you hate me, you love your family more. Just say it. Those photos over there, that's Max and Lily, innit? I turn up dead. Everyone will know it was you. You're all not getting out to see them grow up. Look, you put on the chat or what? Just wait! Just tell me you can't do it. Shut up! Yeah, well, you want to crack on before Tess gets here because he's not going to be able to stay out before he sticks those scissors in him. Maybe I can't kill you. But I reckon I can watch. What did you do? <laughs> Say it! We deserve him something, are we? Why is he still breathing? <sighs> 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 Oh, she didn't put you up to this. Hi, sorry, I just got your message. Yeah. Came as a surprise to me, too. I still visit. Lots. Like, more than before. And you won't need to sneak off in the future, right, Max? It's been nice getting to know you. Like, properly. <laughs> it has. I've loved it. And I know I've made mistakes and I have said sorry to Max. Me too. Max, I want you to tell me honestly if they put any pressure on you to say this. No. This is my decision. And I can't help you anymore, can I? But you listen. If you ever feel unhappy here, or, or you think Harry is, or if you feel worried, then... Uh, he knows where you are. I was talking to Max. Yeah, I get it. Thanks. Because I'm not going anywhere. I'll always be here for you. What are you doing? We're not doing it myself. We're doing him on the stairs. All right. If you don't bleed out, I'll kill him. No. Get up here now. No. Anyone want to help? No. Didn't think so. I want you all to watch this. 
Yeah, this is what happens to people like him. Anyway, kick him and run. Squeeze the man to the left. Go after him! Again. They'll break in. We'll, we'll barricade it with the, with the beds, his cabinets, anything. Right, Christmas. Oh, um, they've pulled Christmas forward for Sinead. Oh, you know, you get that mixed up in your own oh, stuff. No, come on, you won. And he's fine, he's happy, look. Uh, although I think we're going to have to get you off that stupid computer game. Yeah, haven't you got homework to do with something? Totally made the wrong choice, didn't I? Oh, too late now, Maximilian. You're stuck with us. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> right, kiddo. What do you fancy for your tea? Isn't that David's prison? But we understand the riot is still ongoing and have unconfirmed reports of multiple casualties. Tensions have been mounting at Highfield Prison for many months now, and staff have been. <laughs> Why did you do it? Don't. You saved my life. <laughs> I think I did that for you. No, I get it. Are you better than this? We've moved on. You think I could move on from that? You know, I spoke to my solicitor on the phone. And he thinks they might look at my case again. You think I'm going to miss a chance sitting in court, seeing you pay for what you've done? The only reason I stopped them killing you is because that would be too easy. I don't want you to die. I want you to live with this. Every single day, getting beaten up, hated, put on a register, everybody know what you are. I want you to suffer. <laughs> and save you. No one can. Hey. You in there, right? You are, aren't you? You with him? Let him out now. Let him out. Now. We'll get everything, yeah? Yeah? Everything will be okay. Just let him out, yeah? Sick. It's nothing for me. Nothing. Yeah, it's sick, all of it, isn't it? Suffering. Welcome to the club. Would it really help if I said it, did it? You said I did. I raped you. I raped you. That deck, too. And a uh, couple of lads from college before that. Remember the name of the lad who's taking me to court? It's Tom, the old skinny lad. Shut up! I know what you're trying to do. Shut up! Come on, come on, don't get your pockets out. Get off me! Come on. There. I'm going out. You know that. Not enough evidence. That's what the lawyer said. Oh, you're lying. I don't believe it. You wouldn't even be in here. Only until the trial, and I'll get out, and I'll keep on doing it. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Nothing. You're what they call impotent. Oh, you weren't that night. Shut up. Were you? Shut up.
Now is your chance. Come on. No. You live with it, rapist. Rapist. No. When you accused Josh Tucker of raping you, it wasn't taken seriously, was it? They didn't pursue it, no. Must have made you feel angry. Well, frustrated, yeah, because it meant, you know, he could do it to someone else. Which allegedly now he has. And then, lo and behold, he gets sent here. I bet you couldn't believe your luck, could you? A chance to finally get your revenge at last, and then this riot happens and you seize it. Look, this is all just speculation. Yeah, we're not in court yet. I never touched him, all right? I, I deliberately stayed away. Even when the riot broke out? Even when the riot broke out, yeah. Yeah, Josh Tucker was stabbed and now he's in a coma. And more than that, he was stabbed with your hairdressing scissors. It's a bit of a coincidence, that, isn't it? But they're not my scissors. They're the ones you used to demonstrate. They're the ones that everybody practised on, you know? I mean... He's a sex offender. I mean, they get a hard time in here. It could have been anybody who did that to him. But you have to agree that you've got a lot of motive. Look, My client doesn't have to agree with what's clearly just your opinion. And unless you have anything concrete to ask, I think he's been questioned long enough, don't you? Interview terminated at 10.33. But we'll see you again, no doubt. Can't wait. Hey. You've been losing the attitude. Have it. Sorry. Look, um, I managed to convince the governor to let Shona come and visit you later. All right. Thanks. I've been worried sick. Yeah, look, I didn't mean to ring you like that and scare you. Okay, I just needed a lawyer. Fast. But why the panic? Because I knew the police would think I did it, and sure enough, I got a grilling last night and another one this morning. And? And they can't prove anything, can they? Because there's no evidence. Well, they wouldn't be, would they? Seeing as you didn't do it. Exactly. I would understand, you know, if you snapped. I'd get it. You would be looking at 20 years inside, so I really, really hope that you didn't. I hope you put me and your kids first. Well, of course I didn't do it, all right? What, do you think I'm lying? Well, you've got form. I wouldn't lie about this, all right? I swear. Well, let's hope that Josh does come round and then he can tell them who did do it. Do you see David? Yeah. And? Well, I swear he didn't do it. Believe him? Well, yeah, of course. Um, did you pick the kids' bucket? Okay. Yeah, I'm upstairs. Thanks. Um, don't forget, Marion's coming round later to pick Max up. Oh, right, well, let's check what he's wearing. Look at this. It was in my inbox. Shame, isn't it? Someone that's bleeding in the video. 
We know him. Did David do this? People fake videos. Doesn't look fake. You think it's fake? Yeah, I do. No, you do not watch that again. It's nice to be out on myself. But I thought we'd been through everything. I thought so too. I was looking forward to a nice, relaxing afternoon at my desk, catching up with some admin. Yeah, me too. Oh, no, wait, I haven't got a desk. I've got a bed with a tin bog, which is exactly why I can't stay here any longer than I'm meant to. Then why don't you start telling me the truth, David? What? You told the cops that you had nothing to do with Josh's stabbing. I didn't. That you weren't even there. I wasn't. Then just explain to me then how I've just watched a video of you watching Josh stumbling out of a room bleeding. Right, I, I didn't hurt him, okay? I mean, you show me this video. Even I can't bring films in here. Well, how come you've seen it? A barrister friend of mine stumbled across it online. She knew I was working this case. What's it got to do with her? Absolutely nothing. And yet she saw it before I even knew it existed. So look, if you want me to keep representing you, you better tell me exactly what happened. That's not how it works in here, all right? But I, I didn't do it, okay? You just gotta get me out of here. Are you expecting someone? Marion. Oh yeah, um, oh Max, about that video. Hi. Hi. You ready, Max? Nearly. Oh, do you need help packing? No. Pack this too. Is that the game you're on about? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I've been practicing. Getting quite handy with a joystick. Feel quite the modern grandma. Toying with the idea of Instagram. Don't. <laughs> I'll wait in the car. It's terrible about that violence at the prison. Have you seen the Gazette? Uh, no, no. It's a different wing, anyway. To David's. Still free, then? Free. Not in isolation. Listening to the chat around here, the police can't get enough of you. Yeah, well. People talk, what are you gonna do? Don't worry. Nobody who knows anything is talking. That's exactly how it's staying. Right. Good. Are you alright, Max, after that video? I won't say anything to her. No, that's not why I asked. I mean it was a horrible thing for you to have to say. Here's if David did it. No, whoever did it, you shouldn't be seeing things like that. I still won't say anything to her. That's not too late. You hungry? Thought we might start with fish and chips. With ketchup. Hi, Max. Bye. Hello? David, hi. One sec. Oh, David would hate to see him being driven away like that. You all right? You look stressed. No, no, I'm all right, sweetheart. Thank you, though. I think you might want to go and check on Bethany. Why? What's happening? Oh, well... Oi! You tell your daughter, if anything's happened to our Daniel, it's going to be her fault. Do you get me? Tracy, let's find him first. You can have her around later. Do you know, I wonder about that girl. Oh. All the sympathy she's had. Oh, what the hell's that supposed oh. to be? Oh, leave it, sweetheart. Stupid cow. Oh, it's Tracy rent a cop. Although, sweetheart, I do think we're going to have to get used to people being nasty about Bethany. Why? You sat in front of me and said to my face that you had nothing to do with what happened to Josh. I haven't lied to you. Now, I'm running this house looking after your kids, holding everything down. 
Have you seen Imran? Imran? No, no, why? Nothing. Why are you doubting me all of a sudden? What's Imran said? Nothing. I just thought, you know. You tell me nothing, that's the problem. You don't trust me. We're meant to be getting married in a couple of weeks. Max showed me a video. Right, listen to me. I did not stab Josh, all right? You've got to believe me. Everything's falling apart in here. What's going to snap it, David? Lies. I haven't lied to you. Right? I swear. Shona. Thought I'd do toting the old for tea. Onion gravy. The works. Mm, kids have been made up. Oh, holiday club and sausages. Oh, I'll do this lot later, by the way. No, I'll do it. Time's your shift. Ten, but uh, I've got to nip to the cash and carry first. Did the uh, did the kids get off okay? Good as gold. Wish they'd been old at a club when I was a kid. Mm. Sarah told me about uh, Marion. Yeah, the icing on the cake. I bet you're glad you came home. Very. <laughs> well, you're mad. Honestly, I fantasise about going to the airport and just getting on the next flight to anywhere. Well, I can ease your burden now. I do think of you as a second daughter, you know. Gail, oh, oh, I'm so glad you're home, honestly. Oh, this is nice. My solicitor is here too. You're gonna tell me this has all been one big misunderstanding? You're gonna release me early on good behavior? You're gonna find this hard to believe, but I was actually trying to protect him. You're right. I do find that hard to believe. The last time you spoke to us, you said you were trying to keep your distance. Now, all of a sudden, you're his guardian angel. What is hard to keep your distance in a place like this? Regardless of what he said last time, my client had nothing to do with what happened to Josh Tucker. What about Abe Crowley and Terry Collier? Are they responsible? We've had several reports that they threatened Josh and that they were in the vicinity when he was attacked. What would you want me to say? Did you see them stab Josh Tucker? No. And I don't think they did it anyway. It must have been somebody else. There's no one else on that video. Would they've probably already gone by then. But you didn't see them. So they're not on the camera. You didn't see them, but you know it wasn't Abe and Terry. Either you're covering for them or you're the one that did it. Look, I'd get out in a week. I'm due to get married. I just want to go home and see my kids. Why would I risk all that by doing something stupid? That video doesn't show how he got that wound or who inflicted it. This is all just supposition on your part. So unless you have any actual evidence... Actual evidence? We've just provided footage of your client following a man as he collapsed. A man who is now in a coma. And your client's providing no explanation. I shouldn't have just left. But I'm sick of being taken for granted. David thinks I'm a joke. Nick and Sarah just treat me like I'm a skivvy. Yes, well, that's children for you, Gail. Every one of them's like seven swords going through your heart. Yeah, and you're no better. Me? Who? I mean, if I'm not running around after uh, me kids and me grandchildren, I'm running around after me mother. I'm like one of them women on Radio 4 who's been squeezed in the middle. Yes, well, that's probably those stupid pants you've got on. I brought this back from Tyler. Oh. I'm a changed woman, you know. Well, I'll say. I mean, bottle of rum, three o'clock in the afternoon. What are you now, a pirate? <laughs> I mean it. I'm a different woman. Travel does that to you. It wasn't just the beaches and the full moon parties. Oh, right. I don't ask. It's been away from the people you love. Having the time to think about what's important in life. Family. Oh, daughter dear, you had to travel halfway across the world to figure that out. Yeah, well, maybe I just needed a reminding. But I'm back now. The batteries are recharged, and I am not going to let this family go under. Well, I'll drink to that. Cheers. <laughs> you all right? 
yeah. It's just the first hearing. On a murder charge, if he hasn't made it. Oi, that doesn't matter, does it? If you stick to the story. Yeah, but you're in the clear. And there's a video of me. I had nothing to do with it. But you wanted to, though, didn't you? But you couldn't, so me and Tez did it for you. I'd be going down for something that I didn't do. Not if you stick to the story. If you don't, that's when things end badly for you. Just the wedding photographer. Let me know if you need a hand uh, cancelling that. Uh-uh. None of that. All rise. We're not cancelling anything. We're staying positive. Mm. Good luck with that. Mr. Abraham Crowley, Mr. Terence Collier and Mr. David Platt are accused of the attempted murder of Joshua Tucker. How do you plead? Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Then we shall pass this matter to Crown Court for trial under Section 51. As Mr. Crowley and Mr. Collier are still serving their sentences, they will be kept in custody until the trial. The only matter we need to attend to today is whether Mr. Platt, who is nearing the end of his sentence, will be granted bail. Then please proceed. Being put into the same prison as Mr. Platt. And the fact that he was is a massive oversight on the part of the prison service. And Mr. Platt has been nothing short of an exemplary prisoner during his custody. Now, during which he has assisted in the rehabilitation of others by providing them with invaluable work skills. And finally, if I may, a personal plea. Mr. Platt is due to be wed next week after his release on license. And after the prison service has failed him so egregiously, I move that some leniency on his custodial status be granted. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Habib. I agree mistakes were made putting Mr. Tucker in the same prison as the accused. But whether or not Mr. Tucker survives the attack, Mr. Platt is charged with attempted murder. And the seriousness of this charge, risk of absconding, and Mr. Platt's own history of committing further offences while on a court order, means that no conditions of bail could allay the court's fears of these things happening again. Mr. Platt will be remanded in custody until the trial. Because I'm pretty sure that guard was nearly half killed in the riots. I'm sure he was protected at all. Look, if Josh dies... I know. Look, and, and even if he doesn't, you're putting your faith in a man like that to clear your name. What other chance have I got? I saved his life. He knows that. What about Charlotte? Natoya heard her saying that she refused to cancel the wedding. Just in case you got out today. If I tell the truth, she'll be planning my funeral. Never mind my wedding. Didn't even consider it. Is that mine? Um, no, no, it'll be the photographer again. <sighs> Hello? 
Listen, I can't speak for long because I've nicked Herb's phone. D David, are you okay? I've got something I need to tell you, all right? But first, I just I wanted you to know that I love you. And I'm really sorry about all this. I swear on my life, on the kids, I never ever touched him, all right? It was another two inmates. But I can't say anything because if I tell the truth and they find out, they'll, they'll kill me. Hey, 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 it's, it's okay. No, it's not. All right, and I, I, I'm not telling you this so that you'll convince me to tell the truth. I'm, I'm telling you this because I'm afraid. All right, I'm, I'm afraid again. <sighs> I can't do it. I'm, I'm scared to tell the truth again. <sighs> I can't let him take the blame for something he didn't do. Imran, um, David just called us. He didn't do it, and they're threatening to kill him if he says anything. Yeah, I know, he told me to. Look, don't worry, he might not have to. I just got off the phone at the hospital. Josh is woken up. Well, is he talking? Has he said anything? I, I, I don't know, but the nurses said the police are with him now. Right, so that's good news then. Well, at least it means no murder charge. Yes, but Josh can tell them the truth, tell them it wasn't David. Yeah, and that he actually saved his life. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Maybe you're not going to have to cancel that photographer after all. We don't want to rush you, yeah? The doctors say you need time to recover, so you take your time. Oh, it's fine. I wanted to talk to you. Right then, OK. We're listening. Do you remember the events of Monday, 21st of October? The riot? Yeah, I remember. Do you remember who did this to you? David Platt. It was all David Platt. He tried to kill me. 